Hello, good morning. So uh, just got to Porto last night and the, the communal office or the cathedral where you pick up the credentials, it's not open yet. It opens at nine, so it's around eight o'clock. I'll probably go walk around, get some breakfast. And yeah, no, this is a very spontaneous Camino trip. I literally booked my ticket to come here three, four days ago. So physically, I might not be ready. I will be, but mentally I'm, I'm ready. So let's go. Just finished quick breakfast here at this place and for three euros I got two pasto de natas and a, an espresso. Wow, like what a deal. It's gonna be really hard to go back to Amsterdam and get those prices but really highly recommend this place. The pasto de natas are probably one of the best that I've ever had. So I just got my pilgrim passport, super excited to start the Camino again. It's around 11 in the morning, a bit late, but hey, that's okay because this is the Camino and you go at your own pace, you go at your own pace. I spent a lot of time this morning searching for bakeries, walking around Porto. I wish I could have stayed an extra day, but um, decided to start, so let's go. So it's 11.46 in the morning and I'm still in Porto. <laughs> I did a bit too much sightseeing and coffee drinking, but now I'm on my way. So it's lunchtime and around 1 p.m. a bit behind the schedule because I spent a lot of time drinking coffees and sightseeing in Porto. But hey, there's really no schedule on the Camino. I'm currently doing the littoral route, the coastal route, and eventually will make my way to the central route depending on where I decide to, to make the jump. Um, a tip is that after getting your credentials from the cathedral, there's a tourism office across and they're very helpful. They gave me a map with albergues and they told me to just go down to follow the water on your left and you should be on your way. So I, I'm having lunch right now. There's this really local place I found, a set menu, fish, salad, soup, espresso and beer, all for six euros. So I'm gonna have my espresso and then I'll be on my way. Oh, I got my first Bon Camino. That felt really good.
So I just got to Matachinos, it's around 3 p.m. and just got my first stamp or second stamp from Porto. And yeah, the lady there was really nice. She gave me compliments on my uh, Camino buff and gave me a lot of suggestions and advice and told me, yeah, like on that first day to take it easy because I told her my knees started to hurt a bit from walking on the pavement and so I think I'll take her advice and I won't push it today. I'll head to the next town wherever that is and call it a day. So finally got to La Bruge, checked in, just showered. It's half past eight, pretty late, I'm hungry. And yeah, what a day. Fitbit says I walked 35 kilometers, but actually 10 of those are in Porto, just walking around looking for coffee, uh, bakeries. But it's been a good day. My knees do hurt though, because it's a lot of walking on pavement and concrete. And so I need to rest up the knees. I hear that this is the stage, the first day where there's the most concrete. So hopefully it gets better. But yeah, no, um, I didn't really see many pilgrims today. And I think that's really the big difference between the Frances and the, the Portuguese, at least day one here from Porto. I saw around five, six pilgrims today. And I think that's because you go through busy streets, you go through busy beach towns, and so you're surrounded by a lot of people. So yeah, but I'm excited to get some rest, get some food right now, and get some sleep. See you tomorrow.